So, Donald, what are you thinking of this new season now? It's been out for a while. I got to say, Joe, I quite like it. One of the best seasons in a while. I would even say I prefer it over the OG season. That season, even though it was nostalgic, it just seemed so slow and took ages to find people to fight. But in this season, you just jump on the train or a G-Wagon and get those kills. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. G, what do you think about the guns and all the attachment stuff? I actually don't mind the guns this season. There is nothing too bad, so it's not like you can ever have an extremely bad loadout. I also like all the attachment stuff, like having an actual scope on an SMG and assault rifle is pretty nice. The only thing I'm not a fan of is all this bullet drop-off kind of shit. Makes me take a lot more fights closer range as I just find the drop-off still quite unpredictable. But what is your view on the season so far, Joe? I'm a fan as well, to be honest. I think it took a few days to get used to it, but now I'm, I'm really enjoying it. And like how you were saying with the guns, it doesn't really matter what you get, as they are all pretty level. I even find the same with the drop location. I don't really care where I land, which is quite nice, as it means you don't just drop the same location over and over like I would before with titled towers. Yeah, makes sense, Joe. Also, just to note, it's tilted towers, not titled towers. Yeah, I know, you dumbass. It was a misspeak. Well, you have a lot of those, don't you? Shut up. I hope those AIs kill you. Never. I'm just going to get a nice mythic gun and medallion. Just realize, Donnie, you are so poo at this game. You suck. I'm the real pro. Ha ha ha. That's some fake ass news. Well, Donald, if I had a dollar for every time you said fake news, I'd be a pretty rich man right now. Joe, if I had a dollar for every time you stumbled on your words, I could build that wall twice as high. But hey, it's all in good fun. Oh, I see. You want to play that game, huh? Well, if we're talking about height, just remember that I am the tallest president out of the two of us. Well, Joe, I may not be the tallest, but I have the best hair. It's real, by the way. No hairspray required. You got me there, Donald. Your hair is truly a statement. If only I could have like that. But let's not forget, I've got the best shades. Aviators, baby. Oh, Joe, those shades might be cool, but anyone can purchase them, unlike my manly hair. That's down to the best genes out there by being a Trump. Being a Biden is much better. People respect the name. People laugh about the name more like, Fuck you. The only thing I will be fucking is Jill. Ha ha ha. Yeah, right. She wouldn't even enjoy that shrimp. Oh, yeah, she would enjoy my 10-inch wonder because, Joe, you should know I am the best. Whether that's sleeping with Jill, Fortnite, golf, poker, you name it, nobody can beat me. Is that so, Donald? I seem to recall a few poker nights where I walked away with a hefty stack of chips. Oh, Joe, that was just beginner's luck. You can't compare to my poker face. It's tremendous. Absolutely tremendous. Well, Donald, I've got to hand it to you. Your golf game is impressive. But I must say I've been working on my swing lately. I think I might give you a run for your money. You're welcome to try, Joe. But I warn you, I've got the best golf clubs money can buy, and my swing is like nothing you've ever seen before. And that goes for golf or trading. I am the best. I am Donnie, the top G. If you are such a top G, let's hear a poem you did, low. Easy light work. Listen up, batty boy. In my world, I'm the top G, a leader like no other you'll see. With businesses booming and deals abound, success is a language in which I'm renowned. Charisma flows from every pore. I captivate with every word I adore. Opinions may differ, that's a given, but my determination remains unshriven. From towers to golf courses, I've built it all, a testament to my ambition standing tall. I've weathered storms that would make others fall, yet I rise unyielding, standing proud and tall. Some say I'm brash, others say I'm bold, but my vision is clear, never to be controlled. Through trials and tribulations, I've paved my way championing success each and every day. So call me what you may, but remember this. I've conquered challenges with a determined bliss. In the realm of greatness, I've left my mark, a top G in my own right, igniting a spark. Well done, Donnie. It wasn't complete trash, but could have definitely been better. Ha ha ha, what a joke. Impossible. Give it a try then, Joe. In the realm of politics, I stand tall and true. Joe Biden, the leader with wisdom to pursue. With grace in my steps and a vision in my eyes, I strive to bring change as the nation's ties. In my hands, the baton of leadership I hold, guiding our country with a heart that's bold. Through trials and tribulations, we shall endure, for I believe in unity, 
and a future secure. With compassion, I empathize with every soul, listening to their stories, making them whole. I'll fight for justice, equality, and rights to heal the wounds and rectify past plights. Together, we'll build a nation that's fair, with opportunities abundant for all to share. I'll champion progress with every decision I make for the American people. My promises I'll never break. So let us march forward hand in hand, united we stand in this great land. As your president, I'll work day and night to ensure our future shines ever so bright. Oh my God, now that is what you call complete and utter trash. No, it was greatness. Nope, it was trash. A bit like $5 for gas. That's why we have to play Fortnite, as at least we can fuel up the Lambo for cheap still. It is not that bad, plus don't forget Donnie. A car is a luxury, not a necessity. I would agree, if we were in a small country like England, there a car is a luxury. But here in the States, it is a necessity. Sometimes you can travel for 10 hours and still be in the same state. Imagine doing that on public transport, just not realistic, Joe. Oh, whatever, Donnie, just shut up. I will after we take out these homos that are hiding behind the wall. Shit, I missed my snipe shot. Ha <laughs> ha you are well shit, Donnie. How can I be shit? I am a literal god. You know how when we say one nation under God, I am that god. Um, I don't know about that, Donnie. Now that sounds like fake news. I'll show you fake news. I will carry us to this win. Too easy is all I will say. Too fucking easy. The only thing that is easy is getting into Melania and Ivanka's pants. Ha ha ha. At least people want to get into the pants of a Trump family member. I have never heard of anyone wanting to sleep with any Biden. That's just because you and your family gained the attraction of gold diggers, pal. Yeah, whatever, bitch boy. Anyway, tweaking, tweaking, 120 on the M-way speeding. We are not going a 120 though, Donnie. We are going around 70. Well, if I boost, we can get to 80, but I will chill around 75, as 75 miles per hour is 120 kilometers an hour. I didn't ask for a math lesson, Donnie. Well, I'm handing out lessons. Hit me up if you need any help in money. Algebra, trigonometry, or some Pythagoras theorem. I wouldn't mind some help in Pythagoras theorem, to be honest. I can tell Joe, whenever we play anything, your calculations of right-angled triangles and ability to solve three-dimensional problems is pretty poor. What the hell are you even on about? Are you trying to say when we play something like table tennis? The reason you beat me is because of Pythagoras. Basically, but not only due to your poor understanding of Pythagoras, but also your lack of trigonometry. Now, I know you are just talking at an all-time high of bullshit. Ha ha ha. Anyway, Joe, don't cry. Like I said, if you need help, just let me know. I will get you into a mathematician in no time. Cool. I will remember that. Yo, Donnie, fill up the Lambo so we can dip. Don't tell me what to do, Joe. I was already heading towards the pump to do it. But kind of shocking service, to be honest. Imagine having to fill up your own car. Why don't they have any pump assistance? Maybe because it's a game, and also because it's a war zone. Why would someone be working in a fucking war zone, Donnie? Such a stupid question, I swear. Man, whatever. Now, I have to say, Donnie, I am surprised you always play zero builds now. I would have thought you would only have played builds so you can just build massive walls. Don't get me wrong, I love building my walls and all. Playing zero builds is pure skill and strategy. So it can really just show off my immense level of skill. Ha ha ha. Maybe we will need to see how you actually perform in builds. I imagine the real reason is all the sweats just outperform you. Fuck no, no one can outperform me. We will test it out at some point. Sounds good fatty. So Joe, how's life treating you in the White House? Well, Donald, it's been busy. Trying to get things back on track, you know? Yeah, I can imagine. It's not an easy job, that's for sure. But hey, we both know a thing or two about it. And you seem to know a bit more about printing money to give people short-term cash and fuck them in the long term. Fuck off, Donnie. We've both had our fair share of challenges. And if you don't like it, you better perform better at the rallies next year. Gee. You know, Joe, I have to say, I miss those rallies. The energy, the crowd, it was something else. It will be good to get out there again soon. Couldn't agree more, Donald. I just need to beat you one more time, then I'm hanging up my hat. Ha ha ha, good luck. Relax, Liam Neeson. Not gonna lie, those Taken films did bang. Might have to re-watch them, especially the first one. That's one for the history books. I agree, just sad that those things actually happened. Imagine if it happened to someone you knew, like your wife, daughter, niece, or cousin. 
Oh my, that would be horrible. You wouldn't let the motherfuckers survive. Agreed, Donnie, agreed. You Donnie, you big man, I got a good idea. Let's create and read a quick poem each on our political views and future guidance. Go on them what to see what kind of a joke yours is. You go first. In the realm of policy, I stand tall. A vision for a nation, united for all. With Bidenonomics, we pave the way for a brighter future, come what may. First, let's talk about student loans, a burden that weighs heavy with groans. I seek to bring relief, to set minds at ease, empowering young minds, unlocking their expertise. Forgiveness, a word that holds great power, easing the struggles hour by hour, investing in education, a wise choice to make, unleashing potential for everyone's sake. But let's not forget, on the global stage, our allies, Ukraine and Israel, engage, supporting democracy with unwavering might, ensuring freedom's beacon always shines bright. In Ukraine, we stand against injustice and wrong, upholding sovereignty where corruption doesn't belong. A partner in progress, we lend a helping hand, promoting peace and stability across the land. And to Israel, a steadfast friend, our commitment will never bend. A bond that's deep, a promise to keep, standing together, even in the darkest of deep. So let us move forward, hand in hand, for a brighter future across our land. With Bidenonomics, we'll strive and thrive, creating a world where all can truly thrive. Oh my God, that was so poo. Bidenonomics, student loans, Ukraine and Israel, all that is complete shit. Firstly, Bidenomics is just pointless. Secondly, we can't keep forgiving trillions of dollars in debt. And thirdly, there would be no wars under my belt. I would put them in place that why these two wars have broke out as you are a pussy. Shut up, Donnie. The country was doing no better under your reign. Just do yours now. Well, I would say world peace is better, but cool. I will start it now, batty boy. In the realm of tradition, I stand tall, old-fashioned values cherished by all. With a vision for greatness, we shall pursue making America strong and our dreams come true. World peace, a noble goal to embrace through strength and resolve, will find our place. America, the beacon of hope and might, leading with courage, shining bright. Making America great once again, rebuilding our nation and its core within. From coast to coast, we'll rise up strong, reviving our spirit, correcting what's wrong. A superpower, we shall proudly be a force to reckon across land and sea, preserving freedom, defending the right, standing tall with unwavering might. Financial strength, a cornerstone we seek, a prosperous nation where all can speak, creating jobs, fostering boundless growth, a foundation sturdy for all to boast. So let us embrace these ideals anew, old-fashioned values, strong and true. A world at peace, America shining bright, financial strength, empowering with might. Together we'll rise, hand in hand, making America great, a resolute stand. With vision and purpose, we'll lead the way, a nation united, come what may. To be honest, Donnie, that was just a bunch of nothing. Crappy poem, let's be real. Whatever, man, I'll be the bigger man and let that slide. Change the topic, though. Fair enough. How's life treating you these days? Life's treating me just fine, you know, staying busy. I've been making deals and, of course, watching the news. Ah, the news. Always something interesting there. I've been trying to keep up with it, too, between meetings and whatnot. Keep up with it? Don't you need to know what's happening to lead the country? Nah, Paul, like I've said before, I got people actually doing the presidential shit. I just announce it. Ha ha ha. Paul, for fuck's sakes, man. Ha ha ha. By the way, did you catch that speech I gave the other day? I talked about unity and all that good stuff. Unity, huh? That's a nice concept. I remember talking about making America great again. Different words, same idea, right? But mine's slightly better, of course. Classic arrogant Donnie. You call it arrogant, I call it confident. Same thing, different word. That's the spirit. So any big plans for the weekend? Have a few meetings lined up, but I'm thinking of taking a trip to the Dominican Republic. The weather's always great there, and they have the Hard Rock Casino and Resort. Ha ha ha. You love casinos, maybe I'll join you sometime. We can have a friendly poker match. You're on, Joe. Winner buys dinner. Steak, of course. I love me some free food. I know you do, Donnie. I know you do. Um, you trying to say something? No, nah, don't worry. But Donald, have you been keeping up with any sports lately? Joe, you know I love golf. It's the best. The skill, the strategy, the greens, nothing beats it. So keeping up with golf and that is about it. Let me guess, though. You are asking about this so you can talk about table tennis? 
Well, yeah. Have you ever tried table tennis? It's fast paced and requires quick reflexes. I've been enjoying it lately. Well, yes, I have played table tennis considering I have played it with you and beat you. But I prefer the big courses, you know, acres of green. I get that. But table tennis has its own charm. Did you know it's one of the most popular sports globally? And the ball can travel over 100 miles per hour. Really? That's something. But golf is a real test of skill. You need precision and focus. Plus, you get to ride in those fancy carts. Oh shit, these dickheads are shooting at us. Plus, I didn't notice we have nearly already won this game. Oh shit, yeah, facts. We better win it coming this far. We will, don't worry, but they got high ground, so be careful, especially if they have a sniper. Don't want to have to finish this as a solo duo. Yeah, man, I am fully alert. I won't get sniped or killed by either of those dicks. Good, good, and yeah, he's got a sniper, so be extra alert. I will just try and take him out with my sniper. My shots are elite level. They literally made a movie about me. It's called American Sniper. Seems like fake news considering you missed your shot and I just knocked him using my assault rifle. Now you just got lucky, but should we push before he gets revived? Yeah, let's try it. I'm in the G-Wagon. This should get me there safely. Hurry up. I'm already here, Donnie. Actually, never mind. I killed the guy. I am so insane. Congrats, G. Back to the two of us playing without Barack. The two most sexy men must surely win this game. Whoa, is that you being racist because Barack isn't a fellow white man? No, of course not. I love and find all people sexy, no matter their color or race. Donnie, please don't say stuff like that. People may hear it and actually think it's true. I don't know about that, Joey boy. I think I remember you saying something racist like that when we weren't recording. No, complete lies. I would never. If anything, I would say anyone not white is far superior. Mate, you are definitely mentally ill if that's how you actually think. Putting down your own race just because of what shit people spout these days. You don't sound like a fellow BLM supporter, Donnie. That's because I don't support that shit. I am an All Lives Matter supporter. Nah, that's just racist. Why do you hate the blacks? I don't. I just don't think saying one race's lives matter is a necessary statement. If anything, that's the racist thing to say. Really, it should be all lives matter as all lives are equal. Well, kind of equal. If you're a rich motherfucker like me, then obviously my life matters more than some brokey. Oh my, you are making me feel sick with these completely shocking words. Oh well, man up, you pussy. Oh shit, people trying to kill me, Donnie. Let me change my previous statement then. Instead of man up, why don't I say get up? Oh no, you can't because you're dead like a complete baddie boy. But while I'm at it, let me finish the baddie boy that killed you. Well, at least you killed him. Now go revive me, Donnie. Whoa, did you just assume that person's gender by calling the individual a him? Oh shit, that was a complete accident. I am so sorry to anyone watching. I regret my actions and strive to be a better person going forward. Ha ha ha! Are you actually apologizing over that shit? I can't tell what's more embarrassing. Your Fortnite skills or your behavior? Man, whatever. Just land and reboot me already, you punk. Um, excuse me. I'm not a man. I'm a cisgender turd burglar. Shut up, Donnie. I know you would always identify as a man. And what the fuck is a turd burglar? Well, I guess that makes sense as I am an actual man unlike the so-called men of the left. And a turd burglar is pretty self-explanatory. A turd is a poo and a burglar steals. Therefore, a turd burglar is a poo stealer. Okay, time for us to loot the vault. We can be rich. Why? What kind of valuables are in the vault? Well, picture if JP Morgan and Chase Bank's total assets were in a vault. That's what we stand to gain. So you are telling me we are going to make like four trillion dollars? Well, I know you are shit with money due to how much you keep giving away in foreign aid. But no, pal. We are not actually going to make $4 trillion considering that it is larger than every country's GDP apart from our country, China, and Japan. But we will get some good loot in the vault, a strong weapon, and a few blue chests. Shut up. I am amazing with our country's spending, but cool. I love to open blue chests as you can get such good loot out of them. Yippee. Ha 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 ha. I didn't say you would get to open the chests. I just said you would get the loot from them. If you weren't so blind, you would notice there are people inside the vault shooting at us. But we will still get that delicious loot, but just off of their dead bodies. This is actually going to be so hard. Not only do we need to focus on the players, they also got an annoying ass turret shooting our bodies. Yeah, that's all fine. Just keep peeking. Small damage adds up. Once we take one out, then we can just push and the turret will get destroyed when we kill them. Okay, I like the plan. Hopefully this works out as expected. Should do, but my aim needs to stop being shitty and start hitting them hard. I'll give you a solution. Just start hitting your shots. Easy solutions. Oh, thanks, Joe. I would never have thought to do that. You're welcome, Broski. And see, it's working. You are now hitting your shots. Because I listened to your amazing tip. 
Now I gotta say, this fight is pretty long-winded. Didn't know they could be this long in zero builds. Just gotta hope they either run out of heels or patience before we do. I believe in us, we are too good. Facts. Now listen, Donnie, in the realm of Fortnite, where pixels collide, two figures emerge, filled with great pride. Joe Biden and Donald Trump, a battle to ensue. Their virtual selves ready to pursue. With strategies honed and skills refined, they land on the island, their minds intertwined, building their confidence, gathering loot. They navigate the landscape with resolute. Can you shut up for a second? I just came in like big balls Donnie does and just took out those healing motherfuckers. Free loot for me as you're too far behind, ha ha ha. Yeah, decent kill, but fuck you. I was pouring my emotions into that great poem that I handcrafted and you just rudely interrupted. Yeah, because the present gameplay is more important than some shitty poem. Shitty. It's a fucking masterpiece. Now turn your mic off or I will mute you while you listen to it again, you rude didlow. Cool, whatever, just hurry it up. In the realm of Fortnite, where pixels collide, two figures emerge, filled with great pride. Joe Biden and Donald Trump, a battle to ensue. Their virtual selves ready to pursue. With strategies honed and skills refined, they land on the island, their minds intertwined. Building their confidence, gathering loot, they navigate the landscape with resolute. As the storm closes in, the tension mounts, the battle intensifies, defying all counts. Biden aims true, taking out a foe, while Trump's demolishes all structures below. They clash in a firefight, bullets flying, both determined, neither one dying. With swift movements and quick reflexes, they outsmart opponents, leaving them in messes. Yeah, well done, Joe, absolutely amazing. Well, that doesn't seem sincere. That's because it wasn't, I got gameplay to focus on, not shitty poems about how good I am at Fortnite and how you just follow my leads and barely do anything. That is not what it was about. It was about us being a united duo who dominates the lobby. Yeah, but that's fake news. We only dominate lobbies because of me. And therefore, it doesn't matter who I play with. I will dominate. I can't say the same for you, however. You rude prick. Whatever, Joe, you will get over it. Plus, I'm helping to build your character. You are to much of an emotional pussy. Nah, I'm not a pussy, and I believe there are people ahead. I need to teach these guys a lesson and finish them off. Whoa, you seem kind of angry and emotional now, pal. Also, there you go with assuming their gender. This is really poor from you, Joe. I might have to get you impeached. This is embarrassing to the American people. Yeah, of course I'm angry and emotional. You keep hurting my feelings. Also, assuming their gender was another accident. Again, I am so sorry to anyone who may have been offended by those inconsiderate assumptions. Stop being so fragile and well done for that kill. That must have been some hard work. It was indeed. Still got his teammate to deal with though. You look like you're about to die. Oh, there we go, ha ha ha. Shut up, just kill him. I got him super weak. Considering I did a ton of damage from here, that seems kind of like a lie, Joe. Oh, whatever. I got the exotic shotgun, so suck my dick. Well, I could let you bleed out if I want it. You better not. I will be nice. At least for now I will. You'll be up in a jiffy. Well, thanks, Donnie, for not being a complete dick for once. It's hard not to be one considering I have an absolutely massive schlong. That's why they call me Tripod Donnie. I haven't ever heard a single person call you that. Not even your wife or Stormy Daniels. Fuck off about Stormy Daniels. She's old news, a proper drip if you ask me. Well, I didn't ask you, ha ha ha. Well, you cheered up real quick, going from crying about a minute ago because I'm mean to be the one throwing out the insults. You really need to learn to take it if you're gonna dish it out, honey buns. I will do as I please. That's what being the current president of the United States of America allows me to be, you bitch-ass dickhead. Damn, you really manned up in the last few minutes. I told you that by me being mean to you, it would build character. Whatever. Someone in the storm. I gotta kill this drip and assert my male dominance. Go on then, Donnie. I wanna see your so-called male dominance in action. Take the player out with no health loss. Don't you already see it in action? I'm running full speed into battle through a damaging storm. All I see is you running out of the storm like a bitch. That's because he broomed out like a proper bitch. And now his teammate wants some as well. Rookie mistake. Um, seems like you're the one running, Donnie. Running in defeat, ha ha ha. Well, I did crazy damage to him. But I'm also weak after having to trek into the storm, kill his teammate and deal with a turret. And this is all as a solo duo as you are nowhere to be seen. I don't want to hear all your excuses. I just wanted to see the results. And the results are in. You are a pussy boy. Well, they say you are what you eat, and Jill hands it to me on a platter daily. You crude motherfucker, shut up before I beat you up. I think we both know how that's gonna end, haha. -huh. Well, I got back up. I have the Secret Service. Get scared, Donnie, get scared. I think that you forget that I have it too, brah. I didn't forget, I just don't care. I have way more of them at my disposal. 
easy dubs just like Fortnite. Cool, whatever. Anyway, I do have to say I will be kind of sad if this broom leaves at the end of the season. It's been so good. Decent cool down time gets you a far distance and works instantly unlike the rocket. Yeah, the only good thing about the rocket over the broom is its damage of 50 if you hit someone with it. But in zero builds like we do, that's not all that handy. Could see it being great in builds though, as not only does it do 50 damage, but will destroy all their builds. Oh yeah, I didn't think about that. Do any of you watching play builds more than zero builds? If so, do you prefer the rocket over the broom? Yeah, good question. Let us know, guys. Also, guys, let Donald and I know if you like the videos like this much longer and contain the full game footage instead of the highlights. Also, guys, let Donald and I know if you like the videos like this much longer and contain the full game footage instead of the highlights. So, Joe, this video is going up on the 3rd of November. Do you know what that means? Um, that it will be a lovely Friday. Well, Fridays are nice, but something even better. The new Fortnite season is going to drop and it's gonna be great. Back to the chapter one map we go. Oh yeah, that's gonna be so much fun. I've seen all the leaks, the pump and scar are returning, even the ATK and the ballers. I literally cannot wait. Neither can I. Getting back to Pleasant Park, Loot Lake, Dusty Divot, Retail Row, Salty Springs, Tilted Towers, and a few of the other legendary spots is gonna be so fresh. Well, I don't know if fresh is the right word as it's actually old stuff. Ha ha ha, shut up, man. You know what I mean, Broski. I do. I do indeed. Considering I'm so hyped, I'm going to treat you to a poem instead, Joey boy. Oh, yippee. Go on then, Donnie. Let's hear it. In Fortnite's realm, a new season arrives. Back to chapter one, season five. Bounty hunters and warriors from far and wide gathered in this dimension where dreams collide. The zero points unstable, realities at stake as characters from different worlds partake. From the Mandalorian to Kratos, they unite in the hunt for victory under the starry night. Tilted towers transformed into a wild west. Saloon doors swing as players are put to the test. Cactus-filled deserts and canyons so vast, a vibrant landscape where adventures are cast. The ancient ruins hide secrets untold with artifacts and quests waiting to unfold. Fortnite's island morphs ever-changing and vast, as players build, fight, and have a great blast. Back to the best weapons and vehicles with each passing day bring excitement and chaos in an epic display. Snipers, shotguns, and melee strikes, strategies formed in battle's chaotic light. Are you happy to go back and are ready to attack? Oh, Donald, I really like that. Really getting me ready for the new season. And yes, I'm both ready to go back and attack. Speaking of attacking, I know Barack is going to love this season. I've seen the leaks, and it shows that planes are returning. And you know what that means? I believe I do. It means Barack can get back to airstriking ways. Ha ha ha. Oh, my days. I can't believe it. I think that is the first ever time you have actually thought of what I was thinking and not some retarded ass thing like you normally come out with. What can I say, Donnie? I'm getting my head screwed on for the new season G unit. So, Joe, have you got a poem to read? This is one of the rare moods where I don't mind hearing one. Of course I do. Enjoy this masterpiece. In the land of Fortnite, a battle brew. Donald Trump and Joe Biden, an unlikely crew. With their policies set aside for a while, they joined forces, getting a victory royale. Trump built towers, tall and grand, while Biden strategized with a steady hand. Their emotes were epic, their dances supreme, in this virtual world, they were quite the dream team. Trump's hair blew wild in the desert breeze. Biden's aims on point, putting minds at ease. They fought side by side in a difficult fight, taking down opponents left and right. Make Fortnite great again, Trump would shout, insisting that Biden builds walls, protecting their route. Their opponents were stunned, their jaws on the floor. Who knew these two rivals could work together for more? They rode on a battle bus, Trump with a grin. Biden waved to the crowd while wearing a fin. With their differences set aside, they fought for the crown, showing the world true teamwork upside down. I actually didn't mind that one. Definitely one of your better ones, pal. Thanks, Donnie. Means a lot coming from you. When will these retards stop shooting at me? They are taking the piss now. You're fine. Just stay behind the rock and they will forget all about you. Don't think they will, but anyway. If someone shoots at me, I'm not letting them get away with it. One of us is ending up in a body bag, and I would bank on it being them. 
Whoa, Donald, take a chill pill, dude. It's just a few shots. You can easily shield up and be back to full health and shield. There's nothing to worry about. I never said I was worried. I just need to teach them a lesson to never shoot at big balls, Donnie, ever again. <laughs> okay, teach them a lesson then, Donald. That's what I'm doing. Already hit one of them a few times. I hope they're shivering in fear now, motherfuckers. To be honest, I wouldn't be surprised. Damaging them with powerful bullets and then brooming over to them to finish the job is a real display of dominance. I know it is. But I have to say that it coming from you makes it sound like you are either trying to kiss my ass or that you're being sarcastic. Just trying to be nice, Donald. Want to make sure we go into the new season on good terms so we can get a victory royale in the first game or two. No two games are needed. It will be in the first game. That's how you start a new season. You need to start it in complete manly top G style. Sounds good, man. However, I do need to say you need to stop getting dropped like you just did. I left you for 30 seconds to kill his teammate and you got done in like a body basher. This will not run next season. You need to be able to look after yourself. Yeah, I will try. My other mate told me about these aiming drills you can do in creative. I will do some of those to increase my skill level, Donnie. Don't worry. That worried me all the more. How have you just found out about those? They have been a thing for years. They're so old, I can tell you that I've not touched one in like three plus years. You've not touched a three-year-old in years? What the fuck, Donnie? That is so unbelievably disturbing. Considering that's how you took the words, I am worried for any kids that are around you. It was a joke. Relax. I don't know. I've seen weird videos with you and kids. I wouldn't also be surprised if you were a frequent flyer on Epstein Airways. What is Epstein Airways? Jeffrey Epstein, meaning about you going on a plane to his island, you drip. Never. The only way I go to an island is on a battle bus. Ha ha ha. At least it's not a school bus. Fuck you, Donald. Fuck you. Damn, what a kill. Absolute destruction. Why do you never pay attention when I am rude to you? Mainly because I don't value your opinion, so I don't really care what shit you spout. Oh, that's quite sad to hear, to be honest. Suck it up! Shut it yourself. Now listen up, Donald. This is how good I will be after I hit up creative. In the land of Fortnite, where battles are fought, there lies a player, Joe Biden, seeking to be taught. With aiming drills and creative, he hones his skills to become a better player with determination that thrills. In the virtual world, he builds his fort, learning from every defeat, never to abort. With each shot fired, his aim grows true. Joe Biden, the player, seeking victories too. As he practices his aim, his fingers steady and swift, he knows that improvement is a gradual lift. With perseverance and practice, he'll reach new heights. Joe Biden, the player, embracing the fight. I heard one great thing in there, Joe. Learning to never abort when you learn that you will be a tiny bit more manly as running from a fight is a bitch thing to do. Yeah, I'm gonna get so good. And thanks for the accelerant shotgun, pal. No problem, Joe. And not to sure about good, maybe average, but average will do when you don't have the Trump name? There is no way I'm average. I'm definitely superior. Look at the current game stats. 13 people left with 17 squad kills. That's well above average. And I would agree with you if this was, say, solo. But considering it's duos, I have had to reboot you this game. And only four of those 17 kills are yours. It still seems pretty average, ha ha ha. I'll show you average when I win us this game. And if you can get eight kills, so four more, I will agree with you. Until then, you are just being carried by big balls, Donnie. Well, what about when I'm not playing with you, I'm not getting carried by you and still get those dubs? That's because you get carried by the other person. Like when you play with BBC Barack, he gets like 80% of the kills, ha ha ha. He only gets 80% of the kills because I let the bender have them. Whoa, did you just make an extremely homophobic comment in 2023? That is so appalling. I actually feel sick to the core. I would never be so rude. But even if I did, I can do whatever the fuck I like. That's what being the president allows. Get on my level, you bitch boy fag. Whoa, you're a body basher, uphill gardener, turf turner, and turd burglar, so keep being gay. If I actually cared what you said, I would be sitting here in defeat, but I don't. So suck my dick. I don't want to get anywhere near that small chode. You probably don't even shave, as I always see hair in Jill's mouth. Well, unless that's the loose hair from her mustache. Shut up, I do shave and Jill doesn't have any sort of mustache. If anything, that's Barrack's husband. Why are you now bending over? I don't want to bum your hairy ass. Shut up, you bitch. I don't want to bend over in a corner and you're throwing me over your shoulder like a sex doll.
Yeah, yeah, whatever. Anyway, guys, hope you are enjoying the video so far. Again, if you could support the channel using the support of creator code gaming POTUS, we would really appreciate it. Yeah, that is one of the few things I will agree with Donald on. Get that code in, fellas. Not many people left now. We're going to get this win to end season four in the best possible way. Let's do it. Oh my, this guy is trying to run after trying to hit me with a rocket. I wonder if it's Obama on his other account. Ha ha ha, wouldn't be surprised, to be honest. I also wonder what BBC Barack is going to do once they vault the rocket. Will he still play with us or just sit in his office in defeat? Probably just sit in his office in defeat, ha ha ha. And oh my, so many gold guns around here. Hopefully the other people left can pick them up so it's a fair fight, even though I will still obliterate them into ash. You mean that we can obliterate them into ash? No, it will probably be me doing the damage. And I think he is over here, Joe. If you feel like helping, that is... Oh, never mind. Too late. I killed him in a second. Good work there, Donnie. Great way to finish season four. Peace, homies. What the fuck, Joe? Why the fuck do I have to wait over two whole minutes to get into this new Fortnite season? Why are they restricting me of this new OG Fortnite season? I don't know. The server are just too busy, my man. Anyway, chop, chop. I'm just waiting the lobby. Well, I can't chop, chop. It's a bloody countdown. No question about it. We are landing where my building is located. Tilted fucking towers. Don't have to tell me twice. This is going to be so fresh. True enough. It's so good to see this map again. I know they are meant to change it in a few weeks, but I might have to slap them up if they do. Or we could just do a peaceful protest outside their head office. Fuck a peaceful protest. That's for snowflakes and fags. Plus, they just seem pointless. Also, there is one other issue. I can't be asked to go to North Carolina when I can enjoy my private sandy beach in the Florida heat because it's just so sweet. Ha ha ha. Whatever, Donnie. I also like that you ended that in a nice rhyme. Does that mean it's time for an amazing Joe Biden poem? Nope. It does fucking not. I'm just trying to enjoy this new manly season of Fortnite, not an orchestra of shit. What do you mean? An orchestra can be good. The only orchestra piece I like is when it's adagio for strings. That's a masterpiece. Most other things, though, are complete and utter trash. Oh, I know that. It's the Samuel Barber piece, right? Yup. Plus, you would have heard it anyway. As I would have played it when we went on a road tour, the original is amazing. And if you are feeling more like a party, then you can play the Tiesto remix. Don't think I have heard the Tiesto mix. I will check it out when we get off. Sounds good, Joe. Also, why can I not find any sick loot? I literally haven't even got a shotgun. I've got two fucking SMGs and a shitty scoped assault rifle. Yeah, it's kind of annoying. Heels and good guns are hard to find. I heard most people can't even find a scar, even if it's endgame. Hopefully that's not going to be us, though. It better not be. I want a scar. The scar is too good not to get. Fully agree, big man. Also, since you were talking about Adagio for strings before, it reminded me of when we asked our fans for some music recommendations. Diego mentioned Post Malone's songs, Rockstar and Psycho, which I really liked. We also had Tears on My Piano by Charlie Puth, recommended by Jaden. I gotta say, all those song recommendations were amazing. So thank you guys. What did you think, Donnie? And have you got any new songs you are listening to? Yeah, those songs were decent. So let us know if you have any other songs on repeat recently. And yeah, Joe, I got a few songs I like right now. I love the song Ocean by Ezla and Emily. Also liking Those Eyes by New West. Daddy Issues by The Neighborhood has also been on repeat. Ha ha ha. I've heard most of those before. Bangers don't get me wrong, but a bit on the slower, depressing side of things. Are you all right, Donnie? Of course I am all right, you did low. I am Donnie, the top fucking G. But I guess it's because I don't really attach emotion to songs, so I just listen to what sounds good. But if you want a bit more upbeat songs, I have also been listening to I Kissed a Girl Lane remix and Running Up That Hill remix by Killian K. Oh, okay, Donnie, I am the complete opposite. I have to listen to a certain kind of music genre depending on my mood. And I will check those out at some point, Donald. That sounds good, bro. You got anything you've been listening to? Um, yeah. So I have been listening to Greedy by Tate McRae, Teacher's Pet by Melanie Martinez. And just to give you one more, I have been liking Phone by Medusa. Oh, yeah, Phone by Medusa is a complete banger. I love that song. 
When I fly down the highway in my Porsche with that song on, I feel like a total fucking big man. Agreed. Most of the songs Medusa has been dropping have been insane. Ever since Peace of Your Heart came out in 2019, it's just been insane. Agreed. Okay, Donnie, I think it's time. Time for what? My poem. Oh, for fuck's sake, just hurry it up then. In the realm of politics where power resides, there's a tale of Joe Biden where Fortnite collides. A leader renowned for his wisdom and might. But can he conquer the virtual battlefield with might? With a controller in hand, he enters the fray. A skilled Fortnite player, he aims to display. Building structures, editing with precision, Joe Biden's skills defy all derision. In tilted towers, he lands with a plan, gathering weapons, creating a clan. His strategic mind, it shines so bright as he navigates the storm with all his might. With each elimination, his confidence grows. Joe Biden, the master, the one who knows. He builds ramps and towers with utmost speed, a fierce competitor indeed. As the circle shrinks, the tension grows. Joe Biden's focus, it only shows. Sniper shots inbound, but he dodges with grace, building walls and ramps at a rapid pace. Let it be known, in the world of gaming, Joe Biden's skill, it's truly amazing. In politics and Fortnite, he's a force to admire, a leader who conquers, both in real life and in the virtual fire. Man, I know we have been being nice to each other today, but what the fuck was that baloney? A quarter of it was about builds. We don't even play builds, you complete retard. It was also just way too long-winded. It felt like it was never going to end. Fuck you, Donald. You never appreciate my amazing poems. At least Kyoto Yumi does. That's why he was kind enough to send through a super chat. Mate, you are still complete shit, but respect to Kyoto Yumi for making you feel better for being a complete and utter baddie boy. Fuck you. I'm not a baddie boy. If anything, you will be one. When I throw you in prison, you are going to become the prison sex slave. Yeah, bitch. Sit there in defeat. Whoa, Joe, way too far there. If somehow I did actually end up in prison, it would not be a fun time, not gonna lie. When you're as handsome as oneself, everyone will want to sleep with me, but at least I'm built like a fucking tank, so I will just knock the whole prison out. Donald, that sounds like complete shit. Ain't no one gonna wanna bash your body, but you are the only one in there that they will be able to make their bitch. Plus, you're not that handsome. Stop being so cocky. It's not cocky when it's true. I literally walk down the street and women beg me to sleep with them. It's got so excessive that I have to just tell them to form an orderly queue and I'll get to them when I can. Ha ha ha. I have never heard so much shit spouted in my life. So you have never heard a Joe Biden speech, a bit like that speech where you said poor kids are just as bright as white kids. That seems like both shit and racism. You dodgy motherfucker. Fuck you, Donald. That was a stutter and I misspoke. I definitely agree that you misspoke. You are just insulting every non-white person in the country, actually. Scrap that the world. So if anyone watching is not white, what did you think about that comment? No, Donnie, don't say that. I'm so sorry to anyone watching who was offended. Too much apologizing, Joe. Have you not heard the song Apologize? By One Republic, they literally say in the song, it's too late to apologize. Oh yes, I have heard that song. I'm a big fan, actually. A proper nostalgic tune. I agree, a banging nostalgic tune. What other songs or artists slash bands do you also find nostalgic, Joe? Oh, what a great topic. I would love to tell you, Donnie. So I love a bit of Keen, Snow Patrol, and James Blunt. I just remember listening to those bangers while my parents drove me around in a gangster Porsche 911. Gotta say the Porsche 911 is a gangster car. Lucky you. Also, I love them three as well. A Bad Dream, Somewhere Only We Know, and Everybody's Changing are some great keen songs. True enough, then by Snow Patrol, you have set fire to the third bar. It's beginning to get to me in chasing cars. Oh yeah, they are all bangers as well. I guess to end it off on James Blunt, you have Wiseman, Goodbye My Lover, and You're Beautiful. Thanks for calling me beautiful, Donald. You are too. You know I wasn't calling you it, I was naming the song. Relax, it's just a joke, man. Wow, what a funny man you are, but you know what will be funny? When I mushroom slap Jill's big ass forehead. 
Well, that wouldn't be funny. If anything, that would be a serious crime. Sexual assault is no joke. And a mushroom slap on the forehead with your tiny shriveled cock would definitely classify as sexual assault. Can't be sexual assault when Jill absolutely loves having a bit of the Donnie in or on her. Can you stop talking about my wife like that? Keep my wife's name out of your mouth. Or what? Are you going to Will Smith me? <laughs> oh, wow! Yeah, I might do, actually. And what are you going to do about it, big man? I will probably just do what Chris did. Laugh it off as it would be so pathetic, it would be like a bee accidentally hitting into your face. You would only laugh it off as you knew you wouldn't be able to take me in a fight. It would be the easiest fight in my life. I would literally have you eating dirt in about 0.4 seconds. Ain't no way, bitch. Prove it. That it. Let's have an MMA match, then we could even pay per view it so that you can afford the hospital bill after ha ha ha. Anytime. Send the contract. Anyway, how are you, Joe, on this wonderful, exhilarating day? Well, I can't really be any better. I am playing OG Fortnite while I am the president of the United States of America while being a top chap. Well, not the answer I was expecting, but sounds good, brah. Hopefully this nostalgia doesn't die out too quickly and it stays this fun for ages. Hopefully, man. But you know what would make my day so much better? If you, Donnie, the musician of the world could read me a wonderful handcrafted poem. Oh, go on then, just because I am so hyped about this OG season. Yippee. I'm listening with all ears. In a realm where politics meet games, Trump and Biden with contrasting aims found themselves in Fortnite's digital haze, nostalgia enveloping their Fortnite days. Trump, tall, bold and loud, a master of deals, his followers proud, Biden, the new leader, calm and unwise, seeking unity with hope in his eyes. In this virtual world, their differences fade as they glide through the air, a serenade, building forts, gathering loot side by side, their rivalry put on hold, they cannot hide. Trump's golden towers rise to the sky while Biden's humble shelters catch the eye. They dance with emotes, a playful sight, a moment of respite from the political fight. They reminisce about the days gone by. Now they can play without a tie. Political adversaries, yet captivated by the game, shared laughter and memories without shame. Trump's walls crumble. Biden's ramps break, but they find joy in every mistake. For in Fortnite's realm, they're just players, united by nostalgia, no longer slayers. To be honest, Donnie, that was pretty good. The only suboptimal part was where you said I was unwise. Got to throw in a bit of the Donnie spice in there. Come on, Joe, you should know that by now. Fair enough, I guess, but it wouldn't kill you to just do one normal poem, would it? It would, I would sizzle like a vampire sizzles in the sun. Um. Have you not seen the Vampire Diaries? They can roll around in the sun as long as they have a ring. So bit of a pointless metaphor, they're Donald. I have seen the Vampire Diaries actually, but it was more of a saying you did low. Like how zombies eat brains, you expect vampires to suck on blood and sizzle in the scorching sun. Fair enough, surprised you've seen the show though, thought it would be a bit homo for you. Nope, I like the odd show like that. I do prefer a good comedy myself though. And I also like the occasional drama, Oh, I like dramas, too. Which ones do you like, Donnie? Oh, so many. So I love White Collar, Prison Break, Suits, and probably my favorite would be Billions. I love White Collar, too. Neil Caffrey is a top G. It was sad that there were only six seasons, though. Prison Break was obviously amazing. But I don't need to mention that, as most people have seen it, and kind of the same with Suits. But why was Billions so good? I don't think I have ever seen it. Ever. What is there to say? You should really just start watching it today. But it's about a hedge fund manager called Bobby Axelrod as he accumulates wealth and power in the world of high finance. He acts like a total G and doesn't give a fuck. He even takes on the United States attorney time after time. It is somewhat based on the real life federal prosecutions of financial crime. Over the hedge fund manager, Stephen Cohen, the guy who founded Point 72 or you may also know it as SAC, Capital Advisors. But that was closed down after he got done for insider trading. I know you like finance, trading, markets, and all that crap. So I guess that's why it sounds really good to you. However, I'm usually not a massive fan of money and power, so I won't watch straight away. Instead, I will get the opinion of our loyal viewers who have watched it. So let me know, guys, if it's worth a watch. Yeah, let him know, guys. And I get that viewpoint. The only thing I don't get 
is you said you don't like power. You are the fucking president of the United States. How the fuck does that make any sense? Well, it doesn't need to make any sense when I'm the president and you're just an ex-president. See, so you do like power, you absolute imbecile. So, Joe, you know how I am the absolute king at Fortnite? I'm um, not really, Donnie, but why? Poem time, bitch. In the realm of gaming where heroes are born, I stand tall, a legend, the one they adorn. From the perspective of Trump, I speak with pride of my skills in Fortnite where I cannot hide. A master strategist with moves so grand, I conquer the battlefield, ruling the land, building my fortresses, towers so high, no enemy can touch me, no matter how hard they try. With every headshot, my victory shines bright, no need for orders, I'm a lone, fearless knight. I wield my power, unmatched and supreme. In this digital world, I reign as the dream. Some may doubt, question my gaming worth, but I, Donald Trump, conquer all from birth. I need no guidance, no one to lead, for I am the one who knows how to succeed. In gaming and life, I blaze my own trail, defying the odds, I'll always prevail. I'm not bound by conventions, nor by the crowd. As an independent force, I stand tall and proud. In the realm of gaming, a king I'll remain. With or without orders, I'll forever reign. For I am Donald Trump, a force to be reckoned. In gaming and life, my power will beckon. I normally like poem time, but that was some long-ass boring piece of shit. Whoa, Joe. I just poured my heart into that poem, and you are going to be that rude to me? You dirty motherfucker! Well, make them good, and I wouldn't have to be rude, you spazzer. I can't wait for you, too. Get thrown out of office next year. It's going to be so good to watch. And when I step foot back in the Oval Office, I'm going to make it my life's aim to send you to prison, you fucker. I will never go to prison. I'm the fucking top G. Suck my dick in defeat. Now, you're a rasclat bombaclat? Do you think you're from Kingston, Jamaica or something? No, but I would run the fucking ends if I did. Whatever, you are a dildo. Change the topic now. No, you change it. Okay, then anyway, I am just making a few updates to the Oval Office. What do you think? Updates? I thought you'd respect the legacy I left behind. Oh, I do respect your legacy, Donald, but I also believe in bringing a fresh look to the White House. Well, I hope you're not planning on turning it into some liberal paradise. No, no, nothing like that. But I have some ideas to make it more inclusive and welcoming to all Americans. All right, let's hear it. But remember, I had the best office, the greatest office. I understand, Donald. But I want to create an environment that reflects unity and diversity. First, I thought we could remove the gold accents and replace them with a more neutral color scheme. No gold? Are you a pussy? That's practically un-American. Fine, but what about the Resolute Desk? The Resolute Desk is a symbol of the presidency, so no fucking way. Are you just trying to piss me off or something? If so, you are succeeding. No, I'm just spitballing some ideas. Well, I will spitball some for you. You can change the bin, the pen, or something minor like that. And if you really need to change something notable, do the curtains or some shit like that. I just think I'm going to get a nice liberal designer to come and do it, I think. Oh, for fuck's sake, it's going to look terrible. They're just going to throw up a bunch of shitty BLM and pride flags. Good luck, Joe. Good luck. I won't need luck. Those flags would look wonderful in here. Imagine all the votes I will get from the snowflakes. Oh, shit. Sorry. I mean, from the liberal American people. Don't worry, Joe, you didn't misspeak with using the world snowflakes. The people that vote for you are delusional people that are mentally ill and support shit like pride. You are probably a homo yourself, getting your back doors broken in on the daily. How can my back doors be broken in on the daily? I live in the White House, Donnie. It's a saying, for example, when BBC Barack get his third leg out and puts it up your back door, the door on your body, not your house. Oh, shit. That's disgusting. What the actual fuck? Ha ha ha. Suck it up. No, you will have to suck it up when I win in 2024. Now listen to this. In these trying times of change and strife, I stand before you, dedicated to life. For I am Joe Biden, your hopeful guide, with reasons aplenty to be on my side. First, let's talk unity, my solemn creed. In a fractured nation, I aim to lead. I'll bridge the gaps, bring people together. In this land we love, in stormy or fair weather. I champion justice, equality, and rights for every American through days and nights. I've walked the path, I've felt the pain, and I'll work to heal, to break the chain. From healthcare to climate and the economy too, I've got a plan, a vision for what we can do. Clean energy, jobs, and better education. With empathy and heart, I'll lead this great nation. So I ask for your vote, your trust, 
your hand to build a better future for this great land. With your support, together we'll rise for a brighter, stronger America, a beacon in the skies. Your shitty speech just got me killed, you dickhead. Now kill that fucker and revive me. Shut up. That's just you being shitty at the game anyway. What did you actually think? It's meh. As we all know, just like the voter, the speech are all shit. Once you're in power, you just do whatever the fuck you like. Well, unless you are Donald Trump, of course. But fuck yes, we got the win. Well done, Joe. Actually doing something for once. Good first video for this Fortnite season. For real. Time to land in some paradise palms and get an insane amount of kills and secure that victory royale. That's what I like to hear. We need to get at least 20 combined kills this game. And I want to see us get some sexy king crowns as well. Anyway, Joe, how are you today? I'm good, thanks. I've had to take some medications for my dementia, so should be really alert today. Good to hear, big man. I don't want to have to carry us all game, so I want to see some of Battle Ready Biden today. Some of these pills are being inserted in other drugs like cocaine. A lot of people are dying. What the hell? More people in the United States between the ages of 18 to 49 died from fentanyl than from guns, car accidents, or any other cause, period. So today, with this new understanding, we're taking axings to significantly reduce the flow of precursors for chemicals and pill presses. I thought you took your medication. What the fuck is all this? It's going to save lives, and I appreciate President Xi's commitment on this issue. President Xi and I tasked our team to maintain the policy and law enforcement coordination going forward to make sure it works. Now, nah, man, you have lost the plot. Slap yourself real quick. Snap out of this shit. Oh, damn, wait. What was I saying, Donnie? A bunch of rubbish sounded like you were rehearsing your speech to do with China and drugs or some shit. Oh, well, that's stupid. Just ignore me, Donnie. Hopefully I don't ramble on like that again. I hope not. Now, I may not like poem time, but I think you need to say one. It might snap you out of being a retard. Don't call me a retard, but we'll do. Enjoy. In a world where challenges abound, where memories start to fade, Joe Biden embarked on a quest, seeking the light, unafraid. With determination as his guide, he fought against the haze to reclaim the clarity he once possessed in countless yesterdays. Through the labyrinth of forgetfulness, he ventured deep inside, unyielding in his pursuit with unwavering stride. With every step he took, his strength began to grow. As he embraced the journey, his true potential began to show. As the shadows of dementia scattered, his mind began to clear, a resurgence of wisdom, dispelling any lingering fear. With newfound clarity, he set his sights on new heights, and in the realm of Fortnite, he aimed for gaming's greatest fights. With nimble fingers on the keys, he conquered every foe, his strategy unmatched, his reflexes in perfect flow. His mind, once clouded, now sharp and keen, as he danced through the battlefield, a gaming G, unseen. From the dusty desert to vibrant city, he traversed with grace, building structures, wielding weapons, leaving opponents in disgrace. With each victory, his legend grew, his skills renowned, a testament to resilience, a triumph that knew no bound. But beyond the pixels of the game, his purpose remained unchanged, to serve the people, to heal the nation, to bring about a change. For in the realm of politics, his battles had just begun, and though Fortnite celebrated his triumphs, his focus was on a different run. So let this tale remind us all of the power that lies within to overcome adversity, to rise above the din. Though this poem is mere fiction, a figment of the mind, may it inspire us to chase our dreams, leaving no challenge behind. Now you're giving me dementia. That was some long ass poem. I can't even remember it. Next time, keep it a bit shorter, Joey boy. Sorry, man. Was just trying to make sure my brain was in full effect and ready to perform at peak Fortnite performance. You should be like me, brah, always playing in peak Fortnite performance. That's how I drop 10 plus kills every single game. 10, that's chump numbers. I do 15 plus every single game. I don't think I have ever seen you drop 15 in my life. So that sound like some fake ass news. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, I want to play a game. Give me a word and a few guesses, and I will try to guess what you're thinking of. Sounds good, man. At first, I thought you were going to do some jigsaw stuff by saying, I want to play a game. Ha ha ha. Okay, my word for you is green. Hmm, let me think for a moment. Is it grass? Nope. Can you give me a hint? 
Sure, Joe, it makes the world go round and everyone wants more of it. Ah, I think I've got it. Firstly, everyone, throw your guess in the comments. I am going to guess Power Donnie. <laughs> I thought that would have given it away. No, Joe, it's not Power. Now, this hint will really give it away. Think about what people use to buy things, build businesses, or support their families. Oh, I have the answer. It's most definitely gold. My final answer is gold. Oh, my. I would love to see what happens in your head. That hint couldn't have made it any more clear. But of course, you got it wrong, Joe. And since when has gold been green? I am lost. Give me another hint. Think about everyday transactions, currency, and the thing you don't stop fucking printing. Oh, I got it now for sure. It's 100% money. Well done, Joe. Well done. It only took you about three more guesses than anyone with more than half a brain would need. Shut up, you wet-ass toilet roll. Sometimes I am just a bit slow. Deal with it, you diddlo. Actually, Joe, I got a nice present for you after that performance. Oh, what is it? Listen up. In a game of words, we sat face to face, Joe Biden and I, in a heated chase. I gave him a clue, oh, so clear, but his mind seemed to be lost in the atmosphere. Green and finance, I said with a smirk on my face, hoping he'd stumble and fall from grace. But oh, the time it took for him to guess, I watched him stumble and make a mess. He pondered and pondered, his brow all furrowed, as the seconds ticked away, I couldn't help but be thorough. The word was simple, easy to see, but Biden's mind was wandering, it seemed to me. Finally, he blurted out, dough, cash, green. Oh, the agony of his guesses, so obscene. I laughed and chuckled, couldn't hold it in, for in this game, I knew I would win. Laughter filled the room, a moment we won't forget, for in this game, Joe had some Tourette's. In this battle of words, we may disagree, but in laughter and camaraderie, we both could see. In the end, it's not just about winning or losing, but the moments we share, the laughter we're choosing. But like we all know, Donnie would win and Joe would be in the bin. Whoa, you are some dickhead Donnie. And you say all this shit as you're doing, take the L. Am I a joke to you or something? No, not to me, but the whole fucking country. Ha ha ha. Well, that laugh didn't seem all that energized. Well, that's because I realized you are the president of the United States of America. It's a joke and depressing. Haha, <laughs> you are starting to sound like a lefty using the word depressing. Nope, I ain't no bitch. Depressing is different to being depressed, you absolute retard. Oh, for fuck's sake, Donnie, you always got something to say, don't you? Well, duh, I'm never gonna sit there in defeat like you do, you wet-ass toilet roll. Whatever, you are boring me now. So, Donnie, you got anything planned for tonight? Yeah, of course, man. I'm always active, going on a nice date night tonight with my wife to have a lovely hibachi dinner. What about yourself? Oh, sounds super cool, Donnie. I love when they do the onion volcano. And yeah, I'm out too. Going to head down to Dave and Buster's for my nephew's party. Going to be super fun. Yeah, the onion volcano is fire. And Dave and Buster's is always a vibe. I better see you playing some manly skee-ball and maybe even some of the Star Trek coin machine. Don't worry, Donnie. I will be on both of those. I don't even plan to chat to anyone. Jill and I are just going to get as many tickets as we can. Good to hear. I respect the hustle. It's a bit like my Fortnite hustle. Another kill to add to the leaderboard. To be honest, I'm surprised I'm not ranked number one in the world. Have you even played ranked mode this season? If so, are you in Unreal? Sadly, I haven't gotten around to it yet, but when I do, I will be in Unreal. No question about it. We'll probably do it in my first game. Pretty optimistic there, Donnie. Also, guys, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Got money on my mind, I can never get enough. And every time I step up in the building, everybody's hands go up and they stay there and they stay there. Damn, Joe, I know I'm better than you at basically everything in life, but I didn't realize how much better I am at singing in comparison to you. Like everyone could tell what song I was singing, including you, but somehow you just got no rhythm or rhyme. Shocking. I'll give you some rhythm and rhyme, Donnie. You just listen. In a world of rhythm and rhyme, behold, Joe Biden, whose coolness cannot be controlled. With music flowing through my veins, I dance to melodies, breaking all chains. My fingers glide across the keys, creating harmonies that bring you to your knees. The guitar strings tremble with my touch as I strum with passion, oh so much. My voice, a velvet symphony, serenades the crowd, setting hearts free. With every note, I capture the soul. My melodies, like magic, make us whole. I'm the coolest guy in this musical land a maestro with a magic wand in his hand. My tunes resonate, my beats ignite, bringing joy, making the world feel right. Donald grooves to the rhythm, Joe never missing a beat, a dancing sensation, light on his feet, 
The crowd can't help but join the groove as he spins and twirls, making our spirits move. So let us raise our voices and celebrate. The coolest guy in music, I'm great. With every melody, I steal the show. A true legend in the making, destined to glow. You're turning into me, Joey Boy. I'm proud you are finally getting a bit of self-confidence with that poem. Thanks, Donnie. I do have to say, you have made me more self-confident, even though all you do is critique me all day long. Like I always say, Joe, it builds character and it's finally building yours. Hopefully by season three of our Fortnite series, you'll actually be a bit more of a G like myself. Donald, quick question, what is bigger? The bush on my character, Melania's bush or Ivanka's bush? You sick fuck. Well, the one on your character is massive, so I don't think any bush on any girl will be bigger than that. So there's your answer. Well, how big are Melania's and Ivanka's bush? Again, with the weird question, I can definitely tell you are some sort of predator. Melania's has a landing strip, and I don't know what Ivanka has considering that's my daughter, not my partner, you dildo. Speaking of dildos, you know your daughter uses me as her dildo, right? Oh, is that right? If so, I will have to inform Jill of this information, considering you've said that on this recording. Oh, no, 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 I'm so, oh, sorry. It was just a joke, Donnie. Don't tell Jill anything. Yeah, that's what I thought, you bitch-ass, wet-ass toilet roll. Relax, Donnie, it was all just a joke. No, the real joke is you. Now listen up, bitch boy. In the realm of victory where battles unfold, I stand tall, a warrior, confident and bold. Fortnite's battlegrounds, my domain of might. As a top G, I rise, mastering every fight. With nimble fingers, I grip the mouse tight, guiding my avatar through the darkest night. From tilted towers to snobby shores, I conquer the map, leaving enemies in scores. With each building piece, I create my own path, building structures that make adversaries gasp. My reflex is sharp, my aim true and steady. I strike down opponents, Obama's unsteady. In the heat of battle, I remain calm and composed. In every shot I take, precision is never opposed. From sniper rifles to shotguns up close, I dominate the game, leaving my foes morose. The storm may close in, threatening my fate, but I navigate the chaos, undeterred by its weight. My strategies evolve, adapting to the game's flow. As a top G, I conquer, letting no challenge slow. So here I stand, a top G in this digital sphere, a master of Fortnite revered far and near. But in the end, it's not just about the win, it's the joy of playing, the thrill from within. Now that's trash in comparison to mine. Get on my level, Donnie, get on my level. Now I'm not taking that shit. There's only one way to settle this, and the comments need to let us know who wins. It's time for a rap battle. I'm going first, then you jump on second Joe. That sounds good, big man, but I've already won before it has even started. Yo, I'm the Donald. You can call me Trump. I built towers, made my name with a thump. I'm a businessman, a billionaire, that's true. And I'll make America great, that's what I'll do. Hey, I'm Joe, and I've been in this game for years, serving the people, wiping away their tears. I'll bring unity, restore our nation's pride. Together we'll build a future side by side. Joe, you've been around, but what have you done? I've got deals and success. I'm always number one. You talk about unity, but where's the proof? I'll keep America strong. That's my honest truth. Don, you talk big, but what about your track record? Your policies left many feeling ignored. I'll fight for health care, education, and more. A better future for our people is what I'm for. I think you mean spasticated, that's for sure. You've also been in politics and somehow still poor. I'll cut taxes, create jobs, and boost the economy. Let's make America great, that's my philosophy. Don, you're all talk, but where's the action? Your divisive rhetoric caused a lot of dissatisfaction. I'll bring empathy, compassion, and understanding. Together, we'll make America outstanding. Ha ha ha, that was another easy win for me, just like how I'm winning the game having to revive your sorry ass like always. Whoa, that was not my fault. Someone came into the Oval Office, so I had to hide my controller. Now nah, that's the most fake news I've ever heard, if that were true. I would have heard someone come in the room, but no, it was silence. You got dropped and had to lie on your knees in both silence and defeat. Shut up, man, just suck a dick and leave me alone. Nope, and even if I was gay, I wouldn't get anywhere near your shriveled dick. Would much rather some BBC Barack Obama why did you say his last name as well, you drip? Why not? I like to keep it formal like the businessman I am. Whatever, you are boring me now anyway. Big man, how is business going anyway? Are you even richer than the last time we spoke? Well, of course I am. I am always making money, even when I'm sleeping.
But I have to say my stock portfolio has been doing really well recently. Made about $18 million in the last week just on my long-term account. Did you say $18 million? What the fuck? What kind of stocks have you been buying to do that sort of return? Just long in the market since it's been on this run. I leveraged it with some options that really helped grow the gains. But yeah, I'm just too good, man. Money loves coming into the Trump empire. Well, can you at least tell me what you are trading going forward? I want to get on this money-making mission. See, I would, but I can't, as I'm not regulated to give financial advice. And knowing how snowflakey you and your administration is, it would be just another reason to try and send me to prison. So fuck that. Oh, my Donnie, I swear, I won't try to do anything against you. Nope. You lost your chance. You should have thought about that before coming after me and my empire before, dumbass. In the land of Fortnite, a battle brew, Donald Trump and Joe Biden, an unlikely crew. With their policies set aside for a while, they joined forces, getting a victory royale. Trump built towers, tall and grand, while Biden strategized with a steady hand. Their emotes were epic, their dances supreme. In this virtual world, they were quite the dream team. Trump's hair blew wild in the desert breeze. Biden's aims on point, putting minds at ease. They fought side by side in a difficult fight, taking down opponents left and right. Make Fortnite great again, Trump would shout, insisting that Biden builds walls, protecting their route. Their opponents were stunned, their jaws on the floor. Who knew these two rivals could work together for more? They rode on a battle bus, Trump with a grin. Biden waved to the crowd while wearing a fin. With their differences set aside, they fought for the crown, showing the world true teamwork upside down. There is still going to be zero teamwork between us financially, and considering I will get this final kill, no teamwork on Fortnite either. You dick? Yeah, I am a dick. That's how you become a winner. Now suck it up or get mushroom slapped, bitch. Yo, yo, people, welcome back to some sexy Fortnite. I'm feeling a good win in this game. I have to say, 30 kills easy. You will only get close to 30 kills if I give you half of them. Haha, <laughs> I will never see you drop 15 kills in any game, let alone this one. Well, I guess we will see them, won't we, Donnie? Well, I'm so confident that you won't get 15 kills. So if you are able to get 15 kills, I will donate you my golden toilet. And you know what? I will even throw in my perfect top, the one I'm wearing now. That just shows how much of a Fortnite pro I am. I mean, I will take it as it will be funny taking it from you, but I would never wear that. It's pretty gay. Whoa, you can say that. That doesn't fit with your LGBLT sandwich agenda. Ha ha ha. Okay. You got a deal? Anyway, Donnie, I've been thinking, if you ever get tired of politics, you could always take up stand-up comedy. I mean, your whole presidency was a joke anyway. Oh, Joe, you crack me up. I'd take up comedy, but then I'd have to compete with your speeches. Those things are a riot. And don't even get me started on your no malarkey bus tour. That was comedy gold. At least people can understand me when I talk. Half the time, I can't tell if you're speaking English or just making up words. Cov Fief, anyone? Cov Fief was a classic. People loved it. It's called being a trendsetter, Joe, something you wouldn't know about considering you're still living in the past with your 1970s hair plugs. And to be honest, no one understands you with all your gibberish and slurring due to your dementia and retardation. Yeah, well, at least I don't have to spray my hair orange every morning to look presentable. You look like a carrot who had a child with a traffic cone. Or maybe you've just been munching on too much traffic cone pum pum. Bold talk coming from someone who looks like he fell asleep in the sun for about 30 years and gets zero pum pum from his own wife. And what's with those aviator sunglasses? You think you're Tom Cruise or something? As you're not, you just look like a knockoff Jeff Bezos. Hey. Don't knock the aviators. They're classic, like me. And besides, it's not about how you look. It's about what you've accomplished. And considering my wrinkly ass is chilling in the Oval Office right now, and your dumb ass looks like he is in a 40-year-old virgin's man cave, I would say I've accomplished more. Uh, accomplished more. Ha ha ha. No way. I did it before you and at a younger age. Get on my level, you fucking spastic. Well. At least I didn't spend my entire presidency golfing and tweeting from the bathroom. By the way, how's that social media thing working out for you? Still banned? Or did you finally figure out how to use a burner account? Well, I'm guessing you forgot that Elon took over Twitter, so my account's been unblocked, as it's not a censored piece of shit that you fuckfaces like to push. And Joe, 
I still have more followers than you'll ever have. Believe me, people love me. They can't get enough of me. Unlike you, who puts people to sleep faster than a bottle of warm milk. People love me too, Donnie, especially when I'm handing out ice cream. And they're going to love me even more when I win this next election. I'm sorry to break it to you, but you won't win the next election. Not because you're not good enough or that you would be outvoted by the sexiest man alive, but because you left the race. Your dementia is really bad, Joe. I don't like seeing one of my homies like this. I have to be honest, but at least for the sake of our country, if the Democrats somehow stay in office, then Kamala Harris won't have this problem, even though she is still shit. I kind of forgot what you just said. That was too long of a sentence. But you know what, Donnie? I miss the good old days when games were simpler. None of this complicated stuff we have now. Oh, I hear you, Joe. I do love Fortnite. Don't get me wrong. But remember Black Ops 2? Now, that was a real game. Best Call of Duty ever, hands down. You couldn't beat those Nuketown matches. Oh, absolutely. Those were the days when you'd jump on just to relax. Nothing like a good round of zombies on transit. The adrenaline, the teamwork. Well, except when you left me for dead. Ha ha, I like the left for dead zombie pun. And you should know leaving people behind is part of the strategy. It's every man for himself, Joe. Survival of the fittest. And let's be honest, you always had a tough time keeping up. Oh, come on, Donnie. You know I was the best sniper on the team for multiplayer. I had your back more times than I can count. And remember that time you got cornered by those zombies and I pulled off that perfect monkey bomb to save you? Well, I was definitely the better sniper I remember when FaZe tried to recruit me due to my trick shots and quick scopes. And yes, I remember that one and only time you saved me, Joe. One time, but those were the days, weren't they? Black Ops 2 was just imperfect. They don't make games like that anymore. True. You know what else I miss? Minecraft, just building stuff, no stress. I could spend hours mining for diamonds, building my little cabins. It was peaceful, you know? Minecraft was great. And I like how we can still sometimes go back and play it in short sprees. I remember building these huge skyscrapers, towers that would touch the sky. It was like a little piece of Trump Tower, but in a blocky world, a lot of gold, a lot of class. My server was the best server, believe me. Gold everywhere, huh? Classic Donnie. Meanwhile, I was busy trying to get my farm going. Wheat, cows, the whole deal. Kept it simple, kept it cozy. But I swear, those creepers had it out for me. Creepers, Endermen, those things were always a pain. But it was all part of the fun. You build, you explore, and then something blows up, keeps you on your toes. I think you spent more time in the dirt than out of it. It was like you were a little bit slow even back then, ha 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 ha. Maybe, but at least I knew how to handle the mobs. Unlike you, who built walls around everything. Come on, Donnie, it's a sandbox game, not a fortress. Is that where you got an idea for the Mexican wall? Walls work, and yes, that is where I got my great idea. And you knew the wall was a great idea, Joe, even in Minecraft. A good wall keeps the enemies out. And besides, my buildings were the talk of the server. Everyone wanted to see the Trump Tower. That's why you should have continued to build them in real life instead of take them down. Everyone is still fleeing in to see the amazing Trump Towers. Yeah, yeah, I'll admit, they were impressive in the game. But not in real life, you donut. But my little garden, that was a place to relax. Plant some flowers, watch the sunset, and Jill crouch in the pixelated horizon. Good times, man. Oh yeah, I forgot you were even a simp for Jill all the way back then too. Fuck you, bitch. She's perfect, what do you expect? Ha ha, she's only perfect in your eyes as she is happy to peg and ball bust you. Donnie fuck off. Thai fuck off quoi Ha ha ha, what was that bit of spastication going on? One sec, I need a reset. And you call me the donut. A few moments later. And back Donnie, I know you missed me. Nope, quite the opposite. Shut up and just drive the Mustang like it's a Mustang. Well, that's what I'm doing, you silly sausage. Why do you keep going from cute to actually rude insults? It's kind of weird. Weird like your mom's ugly and brown pussy flaps. Shut up, Donnie. You have never seen my mom, let alone see her naked. Guessing you did not see the Black.com episode, ha ha ha. Fuck you. You know, Joe, if this whole politics thing doesn't work out, we should think about some new business ventures. Something off the books, you know what I mean? Huh? Off the books, huh? I'm listening, Donnie. What do you have in mind? Selling classified documents as NFTs? NFTs? That's old news, Joe. I'm talking real money here. Like starting our own moonshine distillery. We could call it presidential punch. 
We'll have the best underground operation since Prohibition. Moonshine Donnie, isn't that a bit old fashioned? Besides, I'm more of an ice cream guy. How about we run a black market ice cream truck? Imagine it, serving cones with a little extra something for the adults. Joe's special scoop, if you catch my drift. Oh, I catch your drift, Joe. Ice cream laced with a little enthusiasm. Now you're talking. We could sell it at all the high-end golf courses. People would pay a fortune for a taste of that. You know, make ice cream great again. And while we're at it, why not add a gambling ring? We could host underground poker games in the back of the ice cream truck. Nothing like a little high stakes poker while enjoying a cone of Joe's secret swirl. I love it. We'll have the most exclusive ice cream poker operation ever. And it seems you got a little addicted to gambling since our last video, ha ha ha. People will come from all over just to get a seat at the table. But we can't stop there, Joe. We need a side hustle just in case. How about a counterfeit money operation? I've heard your signature is pretty easy to forge. We could print up some Donnie dollars and pass them off as the real thing. Just don't put your face on it. No one would believe that. Counterfeit money, not nah, too risky. How about selling fake art instead? We could buy a bunch of cheap paintings, slap our signatures on them, and sell them as presidential masterpieces. People would eat that up. Presidential masterpieces, that's a good one. I can see it now. Trump's Golden Horizon and Biden's Blue Wave. Limited editions, of course. Damn, this Mustang is sexy. Might have to cop a new one in real life, not gonna lie. Donnie, when do you drive anything but a Porsche? Just a waste of money. Well, I do like my Porsches, that's true. But like 5% of the time, I will drive something else. Like I drive my Ferrari every once in a while. So the Mustang can be that side piece that I just don't call often. Ha <laughs> ha. I mean, you do you, Donnie. I don't really give a rat's ass. Whoa, relax there, Joey boy, the PETA toy. Keep it civil. Can't be asked to bully your dumb ass even more today. Cool, whatever. Anyway, you know, with all these side hustles we're planning, we should probably start thinking about offshore bank accounts. Got to keep that presidential punch money safe, right? Oh, absolutely. Cayman Islands, maybe? No better place to stash that ice cream money. And while we're at it, we should start our own offshore casino. Nothing like betting with cash that doesn't exist. Also, if you idiots watching don't know what we are talking about, it means you missed the first part. So go back and watch it, you sacks of shit. Whoa, Donnie, don't talk to the viewers like that. They are our friends. Also, offshore casinos, now you're talking. We could even have a presidential high roller suite, $10,000 buy-in. All bets made in Donnie dollars. You lose, you still have to pay up in real money. Now that's a scam. I mean, business venture. Yeah, I like the viewers and I treat them like they're my pals. That's why I can be rude to them, you dumbass. I'm not rude to random people. Well, unless they got that China virus. And that's genius, Joe, genius. And you know what? We could rig it too. The house always wins, except we'd win every time. I'll get my team on it right away. We'll use the finest gold-plated slot machines. Classy, top-tier stuff. We might have to be careful, though. You know how people get when they lose money, especially fake money. They might start to get wise. Maybe we should throw in a free ice cream cone to keep them happy when they lose. Stupid idea with the ice cream. Most people are not as obsessed with ice cream as you are. But we can do a consolation prize of ice cream when they realize they've just been scammed. I mean, played. And for the really big losers, we could give them a limited edition presidential masterpiece painting. It's like, sorry you lost your life savings. Here's some fine art to soften the blow. We're covering all angles, Donnie. And if people start getting too mad, we can open up our next venture, escape rooms, but not your regular kind. These will be political escape rooms. Lock them in, and the only way out is if they can solve a puzzle based on the national debt. And we could live stream this shit to YouTube, as I'm sure everyone would get a good laugh at these useless people. So get paid from the idiots and get paid from the YouTube ads. Sounds like free money to me. That's brilliant. We'll make the clues so impossible, they'll never get out. We'll have headlines like, can you escape Biden's budget deficit and survive Trump's tax code? Nobody's getting out without paying extra for hints. And the best part is they pay us to lock them in. It's the perfect crime. We could even do a VIP package where they get stuck in the Oval Office and have to figure out how to lower the unemployment rate to escape. Just wait until they find out we've been trying to do that for years. Ha, exactly, Joe. We can even live stream it, make it a national event. 
charge people to watch others suffer through our policy-based puzzles. People love that kind of stuff. Maybe throw in a surprise cameo of me just to stir things up. Oh, I'm sure they'd love that. And if they manage to escape, we'll offer them a job in our next business venture, becoming personal stunt doubles for public speeches. Let them take the heat when we mess up a speech or trip on the stairs. Stunt doubles, that's genius. I'm tired of taking all the heat for saying what people don't want to hear. We hire these poor saps and boom, they're the ones everyone blames. You trip on the stairs, you send in your double. They'll think it's just a bad day for old Joe. Shut up, I never tripped on the stairs, I shit. I mean, yes, I have anyway. Are you currently a stunt double as I have never heard you talk for this long without a fat stutter? As well as coming up with actual decent ideas, this is not like the Joe Biden I know and hate. Of course I'm not a stunt double. We haven't even got the business rolling yet. Um, okay, Joe, okay. Anyway, I've had enough of business for today. I will talk about it once I've had a porn star and some golf in my hands for a few hours. But you know, Joe, I've been thinking, if this whole politics thing gets too boring, we should join a rock band. I'd be the lead singer, obviously. Tremendous vocals. Your stomy Daniel addiction's pretty bad. I have to say, also, a rock band? Donnie, you can't sing. You'd sound like a screeching cat trying to swallow a golf ball. I'd be on drums, though. Got that rhythm. Plus, I've got some serious bongo skills. Bongo skills, Joe, we're not starting a beach band. We're talking arena rock. I'd be up front, belting out hits. You'd be in the back, trying to remember which drum is which. Drums? Oh, no, 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 I'd be great on tambourine. Just slamming that thing like it owes me money. Plus, tambourine players get all the attention, right? Tambourine, you're basically asking to be the background guy nobody remembers. You think people are gonna be screaming, look at Biden smashing that tambourine. They'll be too busy watching me tear up the stage in a leather jacket. I'd have the best jacket, by the way. Leather jacket? Please, Donnie. You look like a retired Elvis impersonator. I'd be the heartthrob of the band. Heck, I'll be crowd surfing, throwing ice cream into the audience. They'll call me Creamy Joe. Oh yeah, Creamy Joe sounds like the name of a gay porn star who had been gangbanged into oblivion. Meanwhile, they'd call me the Don. I'd have groupies chanting my name before I even step on stage. I'm talking sold out shows in every country, Joe. Even North Korea would want tickets. Shush. We know you're the only one who likes those. Oh, and sure, North Korea. That's where all the great rock bands go to headline. Maybe you can play a private concert for Kim Jong-un and hand out Trump stakes as souvenirs. Don't joke, Joe. I'd have Kim holding up a lighter during the power ballad. Tremendous connection. Speaking of concerts, though, you know where we should perform? The moon. The moon? Donnie, I think you finally lost it. You're not launching Space Force again just to play a guitar solo in zero gravity. Why not? It'd be the concert of the century. We'd perform in spacesuits, have fireworks in orbit. Elon Musk would sponsor the whole thing. I can see the headline now. Trump and Biden rock the universe. I'd hit notes so high, aliens would want an encore. Aliens, you know you're not allowed to say things about those to the public, you idiot. And also, that's a stretch, even for you. They'd probably land just to tell you to keep it down. I can see it now. Little green men knocking on your space door like, excuse me, sir, could you not? Please, Joe. People thought I was joking till you gave them details about how the- Fuck yeah! Easy win your shit, Joe, but I am a monster at this game. Could have finished your sentence, you donut. Shush!